All right, we're here with Antoine Hopeno. Came in late, ran the lineup front by yourself. What's that like coming in uh, as a smaller guy, being asked to, to hold up the ball and, and, and lead the line? Yeah, it's tough. You know, they uh, they had very physical center back, so I knew that I was going to have to, you know, really put my body against them and try to keep the ball. And uh, it was hard, you know. It took me a little bit of time to get into the game, and uh, by the end, though, I thought I was doing a pretty good job of holding them up and uh, trying to make it difficult on them. What's it like to play in a game that's that disjointed and that clumsy, kind of both directions, questions about officiating, lots of lots of, of scrappy play? How, how do you keep focused when you're the guy who has to make that, that final play up, up the field? Yeah, <laughs> it's tough, but uh, it's kind of, you know, you're, you're, that's your job. So um, I've played in a lot of very good games where the ball is moving around and both teams are playing really well. And, uh, you know, in the MLS and in the Open Cup, you get a lot of games like this where uh, it's all about fighting and trying to make the next play and trying to make the, the little 10-yard run that's going to make a big difference, uh, put a little pressure on them and um, try to, whoever's going to make the least mistakes is going to win the game. How do you adjust your mentality going against some of these lower division sides who, you know, you're the target for them. They want to knock off an MLS team, and they're going to play the way the way that we saw. I mean, it's tough, but you know, you you can only play the opponent you're given. So, uh, I think when you play a lower lower division team, you have to make sure that you're ready to go. And I think uh, today was kind of tough. They made it really hard on us. They uh, they did a good job of pressuring us, and uh, when they had the ball, they they were lumping it forward and uh, fighting really hard. So. It's one of those games, and uh, it's kind of what you'd expect from playing a lower division team. But it's uh, it's it's a game we can play, and we show today. You know, even in a game like this, we're we're going to be able to get uh, results. Congratulations for moving on. Thank you. All right, Amobi Akugo. That was that was quite a game. Talk about just sort of what was going on there. It was it was very sloppy from both teams, and, and how you how you keep your focus to to get the result. Yeah, you know, we just try to hold hold firm. You know, keep a solid back four. Me and BC hold the line in, in front of the back four. You know, uh, Cosmos did a great job. They try to make it physical, try to make it into like a rugby match. And, you know, it's tough, but at this point, it's survive and advance and move forward. You've worn the captain's armband, obviously not tonight, but what do you think of when guys are doing that much chirping out there, talking to each other, talking to the ref? Just does that, do you think that adds to their focus or takes away from it? Uh, it depends, you know. Um, in this game, I feel like it was helping us, you know, stay more focused. But I think Cosmos was trying to get it into a, a rugby match to like make us lose focus, and uh, we did a good job. BC held firm, Mo, myself, Shannon, you know, just keep to, just to keep the boys in line, and uh, we did a good job of that. It seemed like even though it was a lower division team, there was a lot of nerves out there from some of your guys. You know, balls that were getting passed out of bounds and, and mistakes that aren't typical for this team. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, you know, it's just um, just lack of uh, lack of concentration. We all have. Good technique, just you know, making the pass. You know, whether it's the right weight on it or you know, opening up space for your uh, for the player with the ball. Um, but Cosmos is a good team. You got to give it to them. Um, they're not like a regular lower league team. They put a lot of effort and uh, time into their organization, and they really wanted this win. Well, congrats on moving on. All right, thank you. We're here with Andre Blake. Gotten to see him now in two two straight matches in this Open Cup. So, two wins. You're two and zero. Oh. How do you how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. You know, um, we've been discussing in the locker room that the, the team haven't won a trophy yet. So I mean, we we have a chance right now. So we're just giving it our best shot and hopefully, be able to to come away with it. Obviously, you've been playing for Jamaica lately, so you've been playing at a high level. But what's it like to step out on the field at PPL Park for the Union? I mean, it's, it's a little different, but in, at the end of the day, it's it's soccer, and it's always soccer. You know, so the, the principles are pretty much the same. But um, playing here, I feel pretty much like playing for Jamaica. I feel at home because, yeah, um, the fans are very supportive, and they're always behind you, you know, making me feel like, you know, anything is possible. I can do anything whenever I'm in the net. So I'm very thankful for that, and I enjoy playing. As a keeper in a game that got this physical, obviously, you know, you took the challenge from behind as you're punting. What is that like for you when, when guys are showing such kind of disregard and, and just crashing into each other? I mean, I I, I, um, I sort of knew it was going to be a, a pretty physical game, you know, and with, with the Cosmos seeing the game going away from them and, the end, you know, they, they sort of try to, to throw the kitchen sink at us. So, I mean, credit to our guys because they, they, they stood up and they fought back. Well, congratulations to Shane and Williams. We talked last year when you were deputizing center back about the toll it takes on your body uh, to move into the center. You've played there for a few games straight now. How are you feeling? Uh, yeah, it's been good. I think uh, just trying to get better with every game, um, trying to get used to whoever the partner is back there and, and their tendencies. 
I think me and Mo have done a, a good job in these last two games, and hopefully we can continue to grow if that's the pairing moving forward and uh, continue to get better. A lot of chirping going on, you and Mo with their, with their forwards going back and forth. What's that about? Is that just is that psyching you up, or is that legitimate animosity? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's animosity. I, we don't like them, and they don't like us, and, you know, they – they're a team that obviously takes this really seriously, and, and as do we. Um, obviously, this is this is probably their biggest tournament, uh, including their season. And for us, this is a big tournament. It's uh, a tournament that we want to win, and a tournament that you know is one of the the two trophies that we can win, you know, in our league. So you know, we have we want to go for it, and you know, the kind of animosity during the game is because everybody's intense and into the game. So after a full week of training with, with uh, Coach Carton, how do you feel things are going in terms of him sort of incorporating himself into the team and getting his ideas to you guys? Yeah, I mean, any time you take over midway, it's going to be tough. And uh, I think he's done a great job of, of taking it in stride. Um, you know, he's uh, tried to implement what he wants uh, on us in a short period of time. And I think it's helped that we've had two games with him at the helm. And you know, hopefully he, he can continue to grow with us and into the role of, of being our, our manager. I know it's definitely, you know, a lot more responsibility than, than an assistant coach, and he's done it well. So, How does a game like this compare to the MLS, or does it just not? These are two kind of separate, separate entities, the, the Open Cup games that are just, you know, boxing matches versus MLS play. Yeah, I mean, they're games. They're games that we get under our belt. They're games that we gain experience. So, you know, we have to take them seriously. And hopefully, you know, we can take the last two MLS results we got and these two results and, and translate them into a good second half of the season. I think that, you know, we've been been on a good stretch, uh, you know, starting from the Chivas game. And hopefully we, you know, we can continue that moving forward. Congrats on moving on. Thank you.